Assalamualaikum Saya Rafiz Berazali Apa yang saya alami tahun lepas Pada bulan Oktober Saya mengalami luka kecil Di bahagian kaki Cik Rafiz, saya Dr. Riza Bila ya Cik Rafiz mulai ada simptom tu? Di mana terdapat uh, Sebahagian luka kecil saja Di kaki saya Di mana saya ingatkan tak ada apa-apa Kemudian tak sangka Dia bertambah besar dan dia merebak hingga ke bahagian kaki saya Apa pendapat pakar otopedik di HKL mengenai luka? Kaki saya, mereka X-ray Mereka dapati ada bahagian yang luka tu terdapat nanah Dan bahagian yang luka tu terpaksa dikorek Untuk memastikan kuman tu tak melarat ke seluruh bahagian kaki Uh, mereka ada cadangkan untuk buat amputation ke atau bahagian kaki tu kena potong ke macam mana? Ada. Mereka mereka kata kalau keadaan semakin teruk, bahagian kaki saya mungkin terpaksa akan dipotong. Apa uh, maksudnya reaksi dengan uh, perasaan Cik Rafis masa bila dia kata ada kemungkinan kena potong kaki pada waktu tu? Oh masa tu memang tak boleh cakap lah. Saya dah hampir-hampir rasa putus asa lah kan Sebab rasa kita dapat rasa macam mana sekiranya kita tiada kaki Sebahagian kaki kita dipotong dan saya memang hampir-hampir kecewa lah dengan apa yang telah diberitahu oleh doktor Selepas dia discharge dari hospital, apa nasihat dia orang pada Encik Raf? Saya jaga saya punya kadar gula supaya jangan terlalu tinggi supaya luka ni cepat sembuh mereka terpaksa ambil bahagian kulit peha untuk ditampal ke bahagian yang luka tu. So macam mana Encik uh, Rafis uh, dapat uh, maklumat lebih mengenai terapi yang terbaru ni? Uh, saya terus ke sini di poliklinik ni untuk berjumpa dengan Dr. Kumar dan Dr. Riza di mana mereka lah yang banyak menyarankan saya dan menasih- menasihati saya supaya menggunakan uh, oksigen Uh, uh, apa yang mereka terangkan mengenai terapi nitrox atau terapi oksigen ni apa yang Encik Rafiz faham? Uh, nit, uh, nit, nitrox ni, oksigen ni kita tak perlu risau tentang pergerakan kita kerja kita selepas ni macam mana semua kita boleh uh, jalan seperti biasa dengan lancar Berapa kerap perlu datang ke klinik untuk cuci luka tukar alat uh, nitrox tu? Uh, untuk pemulaan uh, dua kali seminggu Keadaan luka saya bertambah baik, bertambah baik, bertambah baik dan kemudian terus ke satu minggu, satu kali saja. Apa yang Cik Rafis kena pastikan Uh, buat di rumah sering dengan rawatan oksigen ni. Ah uh, Dr. Kumar dan Dr. Riza ada saran lain kepada saya uh, supaya sentiasa jaga kadar gula, jangan terlampau tinggi dan itu saya buat. Uh, ada lagi satu di mana mereka menjarankan saya supaya menggunakan kasut yang sesuai dengan apa sakit yang sedang saya alami. Ada kasut khas untuk uh, pesakit-sakit kencing kencing manis ni. Ataupun kita boleh custom sendiri kita punya kasut Di mana tapak, tapak kasut tu kita perlu lubangkan Supaya berat beban berat kita tak tertumpu pada bahagian luka okay, Sekarang hampir 2 bulan dah proses ini berlaku Bagaimana keadaan luka Encik Rafi sekarang? Luka bertambah sembuh Uh, dulu yang berlubang tu dah cover balik, dah tutup balik Kulit pun dah tampal, dah, dah seperti sedia kali Dengan menggunakan oksigen ni Tak ada Setiap, rasa sakit uh, Sakit, gatal semua tak ada Urusan saya sehari-hari pun berjalan seperti lansa Apa pandangan Cik Rafis mengenai kos rawatan keseluruhan terapi oksigen ni? Uh, pada pendapat saya, ia sungguh berbaloi Haa uh, dan setelah kita melihat hasil dia kita sangat berpuas hati dan ia sangat berbaloi. Jadi apa nasihat Cik Rafis pada mereka yang kat luar sana yang mungkin hadapi masalah yang sama? Okey, kepada sesiapa di luar sana yang mempunyai masalah macam saya, 
di mana pergi ke hospital dan doktor di sana menyarankan supaya kita kena buang kaki, kena potong uh, dan sebahagiannya uh, especially untuk penyakit kencing manis ni saya sarankan kita masih ada alternatif lain kita masih ada lagi cara lain iaitu dengan cara ni lah kita dapat uh, menyembuhkan luka kaki kita yang paling penting kita gunakan produk oksigen ni kita dapat uh, berjalan seperti biasa dan segala uh, urus niaga kita tetap jalan seperti biasa juga ok, terima kasih Encik Rafi Natrox Oxygen Wound Therapy is a medical device designed simply to heal wounds. It consists of three main elements. The oxygen generator, OG, which produces pure humidified oxygen. Two rechargeable and interchangeable batteries, giving the user complete freedom. And the oxygen delivery system, ODS which delivers the oxygen directly to the wound bed. Before using Natrox Oxygen Wound Therapy, it is important to read the Instruction for Use booklet supplied with the device. At the back of the booklet, you will also find a handy pictorial guide. Prior to application, remove all old dressings and cleanse the wound if necessary, in accordance with local policies. Using an aseptic technique, remove the ODS from its packaging and apply directly to the wound bed, white side down. Remember to consider the position of the tubing for optimum patient comfort. It can be positioned in any direction and can be secured with tape if necessary. Cover the ODS with a suitable absorbent dressing. It is important to seal around the dressing to capture the oxygen produced underneath. This can be achieved by either using a dressing with an adhesive border, covering with a bandage, or securing the edge with adhesive tape. If there is a lot of deformity or swelling around the wound, rotating the dressing to a diamond shape can aid conformity. Once you have secured the dressing, slide a fully charged battery into the device. There is no on-off switch, simply inserting the battery will automatically start the device working. Within about 30 seconds, you will see the green light flashing. This indicates oxygen is now flowing. Connect the ODS to the OG using the twist and lock connector. Be careful not to over-tighten. Position the OG either in the holster provided or where the user finds it most comfortable. Care should be taken that the device is not positioned in such a way that the tubing is bent or distorted. The ODS should be changed whenever the secondary dressing is changed. However, it will need to be changed at least once a week. Position the OG either in the holster provided or where the user finds it most comfortable. Remember to check the tubing is not kinked. You should change the Natrox battery every 24 hours to ensure an uninterrupted supply of oxygen. Two batteries and a battery charger are supplied in every kit to allow for continual use. To charge the battery, you will see a small round port on the bottom of the battery. 
insert the battery charger cable in here. Plug the battery charger into a main socket and leave on charge all day. The light on the battery will flash amber whilst it's charging and will change to a solid amber light when fully charged. To change the battery, simply slide the used battery out of the Natrox oxygen generator, then slide the newly charged battery into the device. Make sure you feel it click into place. Check the green light on the device is flashing again. Once you've checked the device is producing oxygen, put the used battery on to charge, ready to change them over again in 24 hours. Dear all, thank you very much for joining us. I'm uh, very, very excited about this uh, webinar, which I hope uh, will be interesting for all of us. My name is uh, Lamin Gandil. I'm the Asia Director of uh, Innotech. And um, this uh, webinar will be uh, co-hosted with uh, Dr. Dato Kumar, which is a very well-known clinician um, practicing in 
Malaysia for many, many years in Kuala Lumpur with a real passion for wounds and wound healings and with a mission to reduce amputation in Malaysia. As you know, this is a serious problem. Diabetic foot ulcer has uh, tremendous con consequences in the life of many, many Malaysian. It's estimated about 15,000 Malaysians lose uh, their limb. Ms. Baljit Kaur, which is a, a wound nurse expert that you will see in a video which will be uh, following us. She has been practicing wound care in uh, many years and very familiar with uh, most of the therapy from hyperbaric to negative pressure and all the various uh, advanced dressing in place uh, uh, to heal the patient. I will share, uh, first of all, this uh, uh, shortly, this great partnership between Innotech, the company I work for, and uh, Clinic InnoCare, uh, an innovative wound care center established in Kuala Lumpur, just opposite uh, HKL in uh, Jalang Pahang, if I would like to be more precise, and a big thanks to caregiver, great team, Gwen, Michelle, the boss, Ivan, for organizing this event, and uh, Clinic InnoCare for sharing their innovative wound care concept lead uh, by Dr. Dato Kuma. Be informed that this webinar will be recorded and if you have any questions uh, regarding the topics exposed, kindly type them in the chat group. The question will be answered in the QA. You may specify the speaker if you wish uh, and if you have some specific question. All participants, please remain muted during the webinar. A group picture session will be done as well as uh, as a liquid draw at the end of the webinar. I think um, we will start uh, with a presentation video of uh, Clinic uh, InnoCare, which uh, I will, uh, uh, after that, make uh, um, a short, short presentation on the role of uh, oxygen uh, in, uh, in wound healing. Once again, thank you very much, all of you. I look forward to some good exchange and um, enjoy. Thank you very much. Hello there, my name is Baljitko and I am from Clinic InnoCare. Allow me to show you our newly built wound care clinic which is located in Jalan Pahang, right opposite of Hospital Kuala Lumpur. Come on, let me show you around. Hi Fateha, this is Fateha, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Fateha Zambasri, the clinic coordinator and person in charge of gas relief in care. I'm here to welcome you and make you feel comfortable in clinic in care. I will give you a basic understanding of our therapies and unique capability to help with heart to heal wounds. Looking forward to seeing you guys and let's heal wounds together and reduce the level of education in Malaysia. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Saya Fatiha Sambatri, Kedilara Klinik dan orang yang pertama gawat menjaga hubungan yang tersakit dan terhadap. Saya di sini mengalu-alukan kedatangan anda dan membuatkan anda berasa selesa di klinik InnoCare. Saya akan memberikan anda pemahaman asas mengenai terapi dan keupayaan unik yang kami ada untuk membantu luka yang sukar sembuh. Kami menantikan kedatangan anda dan mari bersama menyembuhkan luka serta mengurangkan kadar amputasi di Malaysia. Thanks Fatiha, see you later. Alright, next up let's meet Ahya, our nurse. Come on. Hi Ahya, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Ahya. I'm a staff nurse in Clinic InnoCare. I'm working as a staff nurse in a private nursing home group for the several years. But now, wound care is always a point of interest for me. And wound care is my passion. Yeah, that's it. All right. Thanks, Ahia. Now let's meet our boss. Come follow me. Hi, Dato. This is Dato Dr. Kumar. Hi, I'm Dr. Kumar. I'm indeed very pleased working with this team of uh, wound care professionals at Clinic InnoCare. I would like to share with you about 
the good diagnostic tools that we use here in our clinic in Nokia. So firstly, it's called Messi. So what we do is that we can check for ankle brachial index, for toe brachial index, for oxygen saturation in the blood and also normal blood pressure. So this is how we do it. We put on the cuffs on the hand, on the arm and also the legs and the toes. Next, we can just press the button and the reading will start. Alright, so we have our results ready. So what we do next is that we can report to the doctor on the results that we have obtained during the examination. So the doctor will decide whether we can proceed with dressing in our place or he needs a further assessment outside to a vascular surgeon. Now we are going to remove the dressing. Right. Uh, sir, we are going to lift up your leg now. Okay. So next I am going to use this device called Modifilite This will help me to actually identify if there is any live bacteria present on the wound so what I will do now is that I will take a normal standard close-up photo, a clearer photo and then Ahya please help me to off the light. I will switch on the ultraviolet light and then I, will, I am able to see if there is bacteria present on the wound or not. So from this picture it shows me that there are a lot of slough on the wound. A lot of slough. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take a standard photo of this room. The light has to turn green and then I'll take a normal photo. Ahya, can you please help me to off the light? Sure. Thank you. So now I will take another photo under the fluorescent light. Again, the, the, the color has to change to green and here once I have a clearer view of the wound, I'll just click a photo and then I am able to see and assess if there is bacteria on the wound or not. So based on this picture, there is uh, a lot of slough on the wound. So which means that I need to debride the wound. Uh, we are at the step where uh, we call the doctor to come in, see the wound, assess the wound and then give us a treatment plan. Mm -hmm. What to do? Budget, please call the doctor. Okay, sure, alright. Hi, come inside, see the wound. You're ready to put it in the 
Hi, good morning, Mr. Kumar. Good morning, sir. How are you feeling today? Good, good. Good, that's interesting, yeah. Okay, looking at this one, this is more than one month old, is it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Can I have a look? Yeah, alright. You see this one, there's a lot of slough all around okay. and there is some amount of healthy granulation tissue also occurring. Mm -hmm. So I think we got to do some uh, deep debridement of this, uh, of all this slough. And then he may be a good candidate to put on uh, natrox, ox, topical oxygen therapy. Okay. We will do that and then see how it's progressing and then uh, we will take it from there. Because if it requires any negative pressure or any other kind of therapy, we can decide on it as we go along. All right. But I think for the start, we just start, we just commence with this. And if we are making good progress, then we can continue with it. Okay. See, Mr. Kumar, there's another problem to this. You see, this wound is in a place okay. where there's a pressure going on. Yeah. So even while the wound is healing, if you put pressure on this part, it's going to delay the healing. Mm -hmm. So we may recommend to you what's called a offloading shoe where when you put it can be slotted into your existing shoe or it can be something that you can slip on so when you walk the pressure won't be on this the pressure will be on this side we will transmit the pressure because if you notice when you stand you see there's going to be pressure here and as long as there's pressure here this wound is not going to heal in fact this wound as you told me earlier has been caused because of pressure or what we call as a wound created by your footwear. Yeah. And that's why all the previous uh, dressing that you did didn't help because the pressure here was not offloaded. Mm -hmm. So we can help you to do that and then we can see how we are progressing. We can look at about 8 to 12 weeks by which time this wound will heal. Okay. We have tried this oxygen, uh, uh, topical oxygen therapy on many of our patients who have similar wounds like you and we've been very successful and the clinical outcome has been good. So you don't worry, we can sort this out for you. Okay, Bajit? All right. Take no of that. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Dr. Alipa. Yes. Okay. So nice. All right. Now I'm start to clean the wound. We take a cough with a cleansing solution and we soak the area of, of the wound with about 5 minutes Now uh, we're gonna debride the wound and we're gonna remove the fluff. Painful?
Supin lah ke? No. No. Quite healthy after the deployment, huh? In KPG also they did all this kind of cutting, yeah. No. Where were you working previously? I was with the Lion Group. You were in KKP for a long time? Yeah, I was there. You know Mr. Rajendran was there? Rajendran. He was with I think waterworks or something. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. He's my good friend. He'll come all the way from KKB to my clinic. Oh, that's good. Can you help me for the medicine and the oxygen delivery system? Okay, sure. All right. Okay. This is an amiibo ointment. It's already there. Now I'm going to open the ODS. So this is a sterile. Okay. So I, I need your help to actually make some space so that I can put the ODS in the, in the on your sterile field. Sure. You can move the. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, so uh, I will just help you to clean the patient's leg and then you will, I will put some some oil to moisturize the leg. Yeah, sure. Oh, good hygiene, huh? Mr. Kuma, at home you 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 got cover your leg with plastic when you go to shower. Mm -hmm. Got huh? okay. You have a moisturizing cream at home? Okay, so you after you shower, you just apply some moisturizing cream especially at your toes like between. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to clean in between your toes lah. So every day after you shower, it's best to just get a mirror you see underneath lah your your toes lah. Make sure there's no any small cuts or what lah because that is what leads to big uh, ulcer. Do you wear slippers at home? Slippers? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes ah. Uh. What type of slipper? Mm, I start off the sleep. 
I'm using now the crop. Now we're gonna put this oxygen delivery system through the wound. Okay, now we're gonna put the oxygen delivery system. Can you help me, Bajit? Yeah, sure, please. Thanks. Okay, so this Natrox therapy actually delivers uh, oxygen to the wound continuously, which helps in wound healing. Okay, so I here. Okay. We're gonna put uh, some foam to cover it. And absorb all the exudates. To absorb the exudates. Mm. And Baljit, can you help me? And then uh, just 
Okay. 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 Feel tight, sir? No, no. The dressing is already done, so Ami can just help me to clear. So this is the oxygen therapy. Um, one battery can last for one day, basically 24 hours. So battery one, battery two, we change the next day. So now uh, we just going to anchor it, and then you can just move as per normal. Okay, so you need to lift your uh. leg a little bit. So at home, when you want to shower, you just uh, remove the tubing, cover the tubing, put plastic, and you go to bed. Go and bed lah. If there is any issue, you just let us know. Okay, is it too tight? Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Just make sure you don't pull too much the tubing lah. All right. Thank you. Uh, doctor will come and see you in a bit. Yeah. See, Mr. Kumar, see, as I was telling you earlier, mm -hmm. your wound is on this side. So when you put yes. your foot down, the pressure of the of the weight mm -hmm. is not allowing the wound to heal. So we have a special shoe for this kind of things. And these are called offloading shoes. So if you notice, when you wear this shoe, your weight will be on here. Whereas this one, will, will be off, the, the pressure will be offloaded. Okay? Let's see how it fits into your leg. Can you put your foot inside? Can I? Yes, sir. This is the front portion. Okay. Okay, put your foot inside now. That's a good one. Mm.
Are you okay? Okay. Okay, that's fine. So once you put this on, so just get down and see how when you walk, how how comfortable you feel. Slowly take your time. Just walk. Put put. So this is what is the off-roading shoe all about. You take off the load, then it will allow the wound to heal very fast. Okay. Okay, don't worry. We have completed the wound treatment and also diagnosis. We will, I will actually take a picture of the wound and then I will upload into our unique system called Natrox IQ. So what this device, what this application actually tells me is that I am able to see whether the wound sizes has become smaller or not. So what you can see here is that this application will actually tell me what are the type of patient with what with uh, the types of the wound and the location of the wound. I am Dr. Kumar, a family physician for the last 40 years. It has always been my passion to treat wounds which are hard to heal. In a country like Malaysia, we have almost about 8% of the population who are diabetic. And out of the 8%, there's almost 1.5% walking around without even being aware that they are diabetic. So this is really very alarming in terms of the future ahead. As you know, most of these wounds will eventually land up one day with amputation. And this is what we are here to prevent. The kind of therapy that we use, so the kind of therapy that we use at Clinic Inner Care is quite uh, what I would say as technologically advanced as compared to many other places. We have this, uh, this device called a Moleculite, which is able to assess the wound, wound infection. And we also have another device called um, Messi, which is able to measure the pressure of the limbs, both the upper and the lower limbs. Because to a large extent, circulatory problems are the main issues why wounds take a long time to heal. And, to, and, to, and the other thing that is lacking is insufficient oxygen. So we have got a device called Natrox, which will provide topical oxygen to the wound. I mean, as we have seen, many of these wounds will eventually one day land up with an amputation. On an average, we have about 15,000 amputations per year in Malaysia, both in the public and private sector put together. So what we want to impress upon people is, don't wait for your wound to deteriorate to such a state where you will end up with amputation. We want to prevent it. Because we understand that once an amputation is done, it's a loss of quality of life, not only to the patient, but also to the caregivers who have to look after this person for a long time. It affects their livelihood, it affects their life. So we want to make sure that this difference can be made by the therapy that we offer at this center. We have a team of well-trained professionals in wound care and I'm sure that if you make a visit to our center, we can make a difference for you and your wound. Thank you. Dr. Kumar Baljit, I must say that uh, this is a, a very, very impressive setup. I am quite amazed about uh, the diagnosis capability uh, as well as the therapy use and uh, especially the extreme care uh, that uh, you are providing to patients. And uh, I'm sure you're going to make a difference to all those uh, patients and uh, hopefully save uh, a, a lot of limbs. If... So this is just to remind us in front of Hospital Kuala Lumpur, Jalan Pahang. Beautiful design, beautiful setup. The field seems, uh, uh, seems uh, amazing. So if I understand, well, thank you for the slide you sent me. If I understand well, you have this diagnosis capacity. Um, you mentioned to, to us that uh, this oxygen hemoglobin device, Mimosa, which is from a mobile phone, will be soon uh, in clinic in care. 
I could uh, see the impact of uh, moleculite. Uh, I mean, having information of bacterial load in the wound and uh, before debridement, after debridement, where the efficiency of the debridement is uh, enhanced, that's uh, pretty impressive. And uh, Messi for the blood pressure, Natrox uh, therapy. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to provide our, our therapy in Malaysia through, through your center and uh, telemedical as we all uh, discuss is becoming uh, a very important uh, part. So hopefully uh, we will see this uh, uh, Mimosa coming to your clinic very soon, uh, Baljit, uh, Dr. Datokuma. I'm so excited to see what you're gonna be there. It was noticed that you have a heat map as well on this technology. We will provide information uh, on infection. Please share with us uh, when this will be available in Malaysia. Moleculite, uh, I must say I'm very, very impressed. I think it has been doing very well in the US coming to, coming to uh, Europe and uh, into Asia. And as I said, efficient debridement, you do not take viable tissue. You have such a precise uh, uh, debridement uh, and um, this handheld device is, uh, is really, really amazing. Uh, wound check will come to your clinic as well as you mentioned to me yesterday, uh, which giving you uh, uh, information on proteases, um, which I look forward to. First time in my life that I see the capability to get so many information on vascularity within one technology, one device, one uh, one screen uh, from, uh, as we know, toe brachial index is very important. A lot of these patients uh, suffer from uh, microcapillary disease, blood flow, it's an important element, important element. ischemia, hypoxic environment, it's key uh, into uh, understanding in order to define the clinical pathway. As you mentioned during the video, um, negative pressure for good granulation and debridement, offloading, topical oxygen. Let's use whatever is available um, to heal those people and to potentially save uh, their limbs or save their, save their life. As uh, Ms. Baljit mentioned, this reporting seems uh, pretty impressive. It looks like you have got data for all your patients. Uh, you work from uh, wound imaging to the different etiology. Uh, I, it was mentioned on, uh, on a discussion we had before uh, starting this cooperation between uh, Clinic you know, Care and uh, Natrox that you as well give some reports to the patient. So the patient is fully aware of his condition, is fully aware on the progression of the wound. And I think this, is, this will make a great difference for the patient to understand the reason of his uh, non-healing and as well being able to see the progression. COVID has shown us that uh, videos, telemedical, being able to communicate with our patient, modify the clinical pathway uh, without having the patient to uh, go to the clinical uh, setup, as you know, with the risk of the COVID and infection. The, it was understood that uh, home nursing will be as well uh, a service that you will uh, provide uh, very soon. So well done, text imaging, wound monitoring, and, and all those records. Um, I find that impressive. I must say that I travel all over Asia. I see many, many wound care, but this is the first time I see such a, such a capability. So I will briefly discuss uh, uh, about uh, Natrox and our company. We are a, a small startup from Cambridge University in, uh, in England. On the left is uh, my CEO, Craig Kennedy, and our chairman receiving an award uh, from Frost Sullivan. And uh, we had many, many awards. So it's important uh, to understand that we are a small company. And uh, this is uh, for me such a, a proud moment to be part of, uh, of our Malaysian partners and, uh, and, and clinic in you know, I'll uh, really uh, uh, feel very, very, very proud. We have uh, a, quite a good commercial presence. I take care of, uh, of Asia. As you can see, there is uh, so 10 markets that now are using topical oxygen. And uh, 
it's becoming a real topic. Um, as, as we all know, hyperbaric has been present for many, many years. So the role of oxygen is, uh, has been understood and it's making a difference, which uh, I will share with you. We just started a fantastic partnership in, uh, in Australia and India, which um, I hope it's gonna be very, very fruitful. So we are here to help, help clinician, help patient, and help our, our distributor partner. Oxygen, this is, there was no life in this uh, planet without oxygen. The day oxygen came, life came. I think we can spend four weeks, five weeks without water, without food, but barely four minutes without oxygen. This is just for me to share that uh, this is such an important element. And when you apply it to the cells, then we start to understand those uh, death of cells and necrotic issue. And it's interesting that uh, it's only one, 21% of, uh, of, what, uh, of what we breathe. So your brain needs oxygen, it's, uh, uh, it's obvious. And uh, maybe this is one of the reason of uh, insulin resistance where uh, we, we needed at one stage to uh, keep that nutrition and the oxygen not going to, to the mus muscle or liver to be able to go to, uh, to, to our brain. So turning the oxygen, turning, sorry, the glucose into energy, that's a very, very important part done by, uh, by the oxygen. Energy production is key. And uh, really for me, having oxygen going to the cells, enhancing energy production, it's really key of the role of, uh, uh, of oxygen. The important role in immunity and reactive oxygen species, hydrogen peroxide, which is a killing machine, all is based on oxygen. So most of our cells needs oxygen, as I was mentioned, there is an extra requirement by, the, by 20% on the presence of the, of the moon. And this is where Natrox can make a difference being providing oxygen topically right at the wound bend. And as I mentioned earlier, with the pore vascularity, and uh, it is, it is, it's making a difference. And, and we supply 98% of oxygen, which is four times what, what we are breathing. This uh, slide is quite important because I feel that when we deal with topical oxygen into, uh, uh, into the wound, we basically take care of all aspects of the wound. And one of the most important aspects is angiogenesis, having this uh, capability of uh, arteria to grow again, where we want to bring blood and where we want to bring oxygen, it, it's key. So the active bacterial activities, like I said, that I mentioned, giving energy for a proper phagocytosis for the neutrophil leukocyte to do their shape. We are working very strongly in India with plastic, plastic surgeon, and we are seeing the effect of oxygen on good collagen. And what is important about collagen is the fact that you have less recurrence on, on, on wound to be open again. And that's it, that's, that's make a, that's make a lot, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of difference. Angiogenesis, we work in, uh, in the UK and uh, we work uh, with Dr. Tang in Singapore where basically before the revascularization, they are now using the Natrox to pre prepare a, a proper angiogenesis capability which is, uh, which is a, a paper which is going to be hopefully uh, published soon. Bringing oxygen has never been a, a, a new thing. We have uh, 100,000 of revascularization every year. We have hyperbaric. We have as well small chamber, as you can see, where oxygen can be delivered. Um, they all have their, their plus point. They all have their minus points. And we are just being an agent therapy, a new technology who can help bringing oxygen into, into the room. So we've been very much specialized in, uh, in non-healing wounds. That's where we want to make a difference. That's where I would like to, with passion, take care of diabetic foot ulcer, especially non-healing. Non now let's discuss about our device. As you can see, it's made of three components, an oxygen generator, which produces the oxygen, a bat two batteries, and an oxygen delivery system. The oxygen... Uh, delivery system will take humidity from the air and you will separate the oxygen 
and the hydrogen through uh, electrolysis and we will be able to release 98% of uh, oxygen, 15 millimeter of uh, uh, oxygen directly to the wound 24 hours seven uh, until wound closure. We very, very uh, make a point that uh, a wound which is not closed is not a healed wound. Uh, there is no on off button. As soon as you slide the battery, oxygen has been delivered because we, we want to make sure that patient uh, and doesn't, doesn't play with the, and change some parameters. So it's, it's really very simple. It's really very small. It fits into your, into your clothes. And we take out the stigma, making patient not wanted to show their, uh, their wounds or their therapy. So that's uh, oxygen delivery system. This is sterile. It comes into a, a pouch, which is, uh, which is sterile. And then we will apply the oxygen delivery system into the wound, directly to the wound. So that's why I was uh, pretty impressed with the sharp debridement because we provide the oxygen in the wound bed and through pressure gradient, the cells will take the, will take the oxygen. It's a small uh, 55 millimeter. And as you can see, it's very flexible. So we can put it in the contour of every type of, uh, of wound between toes, for example, and even sometimes into uh, um, into a, a sinus wound. So it's easy to wear, it's malleable and the oxygen is diffused. So we change the oxygen diffuser uh, every time there is a change of dressing. And for all of you nurses or clinician, it's such a, sim a simple way. As soon as you finish the, the, your, your debridement, you put the oxygen delivery system into the wound bed and you carry on with your, with your dressing implement. Two batteries. Um, 30 hours per battery. Uh, when you go to sleep, you just uh, in the evening let one battery to be charged, and in the morning you change uh, you change your battery. So a very very simple device, a very very efficient, great compliance we have uh, from uh, uh, from patient. It's silent. There is no risk. It's uh, it's oxygen. A very often question: Can it explode? Can burn? we never never had any issue and as I said uh, we are now in uh, 45 markets and uh, growing up. So most of the most of the time what will happen is you will have a, a high level of exudate who will come into the into the into the wound which is in my view a good news for a wound which has known he healing for a long time will be installed exudate will bring nutrients exudate uh, uh, will in in my view be an important element that the wound is reacting to oxygen there is an increase of wound side um, due to the humidification, due to the eff efficiency of the macrophages, uh, we happen to debride much more efficiently and uh, a reduction in pain as well. I believe the reduction in pain has to do with changing from anaerobic respiration to aerobic respiration, uh, the environment of that wound. After three to four weeks, the exudate level, as you can see, will be reduced. We go back to the original size and it's such an improvement in wound band and color. This is very important because we deal with wounds which are there for six months, three months, non-healing, on the verge of amputation. So I recommend that the minimum therapy time that you will have should be four weeks. And this is really after four weeks that you will see a reduction in one size, good granulation tissue and evident reepitalization. Just a small summary, as you can see, 24 oxygen therapy non-stop until wound closure. Pain reduction has been noticed into many, many publications. Great mobility. You can see your friends, you can patient can uh, have a, a, a probably normal life and uh, uh, it's such a simple design. It's so easy, uh, so easy to use. Just a small uh, uh, presentation on how to, to use it, how to apply it. As you can see, just slide uh, on slide three, the battery and oxygen will be, uh, will be delivered. The type of wound that uh, we are focusing now, uh, uh, hopefully with the help of uh, uh, Dr. Kuma and uh, Ms. Baljit uh, as diabetic foot ulcer. They seems to see a lot of venous ulcer as well, where 
uh, the combination of topical oxygen and compression has been uh, proven to be very, very efficient. And uh, home nursing has uh, our partnership with caregiver, uh, we believe this will be a, a, an important uh, opportunity to heal patients uh, at, their, at their nursing home. So a non-healing wounds are just uh, very often say as soon as you see a wound which has not been reduced by four, by fifty percent after four weeks, you really are, are into uh, a, a situation where this is a non-healing, especially for diabetic foot ulcer. And as you can see, vagueness like ulcer is twenty to thirty percent. So that should be a good uh, a good gauge on uh, what you should consider as a as a non-healing. Winumpoxia, as we have uh, as we have uh, discussed earlier, that is the great benefit of uh, of natrox, being able to bring oxygen into uh, into this wound bed directly. You can see uh, uh, the unhealthy granulation and very important signs of uh, hypoxia, which um, I believe is one of the big culprit of uh, of not healing and biofilm. That's why I was so glad to see the sharp debridement being able to take biofilm who cannot be seen with, uh, with your own eyes. So we had many, many publications. We are getting uh, publication from all over the world. I hope uh, Clinic on okay, and uh, uh, we will start soon uh, uh, some, uh, some case study. Um, Dr. Harry in uh, Hospital Kuala Lumpur has done, uh, he's finalizing a 30 patient non healing diabetic foot ulcer uh, RCT, which uh, hopefully we're going to be published uh, uh, very, very soon. And this is uh, really very, very soon, as you can see the date uh, in 2021. I have done a study with uh, Dr. Tang, which is a renowned vascular surgeon in Singapore, and um, it has been uh, published a week ago. And this is, of course, with ATIC through Singapore General Hospital. And with this patient who had a non-healing wound for more than three months, there was 91% of wound area reduction within three months. Personally, I still cannot believe this type of release. So a patient, wounds non-healing for three months, putting the natrox and the grid care, 91% of the patient, 91% of reduction from the patient after three months. It's just uh, amazing. Many, many publications, as, uh, as I mentioned, just to make sure that uh, credibility of topical oxygen and natrox, it's, it's enhanced. So this, uh, this is a trial that we have done in the US recently. 145 patients, non-healing diabetic foot ulcer, an RCT to uh, see the impact of topical oxygen and natrox on healing rate. 19 wound care clinics across all America uh, to, dem to demonstrate uh, the healing rate uh, in uh, diabetic foot ulcer. So, this is uh, potentially for us now the, the road to reimbursement. As you know, America is the biggest uh, health, um, healthcare market in the world. And uh, we will be the first device to have uh, an topical oxygen to, to have a full reimbursement. And these are some of the results that we have achieved with this uh, 145 patient 19 center, which is in my view, amazing. Many studies, if anyone uh, interested, that's it. Uh, we have all those publications available for you. Uh, we, have, we are doing some great presence uh, in the whole the region, actually worldwide. We are part of uh, many, many different uh, seminars. So when all has been maybe not working and where all standard of care has failed, um, it will be interesting to maybe put the patient on topical oxygen through clinic in you know, care with a special uh, uh, care and other therapies, hopefully. That's, that's really my, my, my big wish. We have cases. That is important because, you can, as you can see here, some of, the, the, of our clinicians uh, uh, worldwide, when they see the wound on the direction of uh, healing, uh, they stop the natrox and uh, as soon as they do that, there was an increase in, in, in wound side. So it is important just the way we breathe, not intimately, we always breathe. It's important to give oxygen to the wound uh, all the time until food closure. 
So don't stop the natrox before the wound is completely, uh, the healing is completely achieved. That's a, a case that we had uh, in, uh, in Italy with a venous leg ulcer. Exudate will increase, as I mentioned. So secondary dressing is key. I could I noticed during the video that uh, uh, the male nurse was talking about uh, an absorbent and a super absorbent to to manage the exudate level. That's an, another case that we had in Italy. Hundred percent granulation tissue after uh, five weeks. We discuss about the increase of, uh, of wound size. In the UK, complete closure after 15 weeks. So we hopefully uh, uh, with Dr. Kuma and uh, Ms. Baljit, we will look at, uh, at those difficult wounds that we really want to make a, a, a difference. I was mentioning about the oxygen uh, delivery system, which is uh, flexible, where we can put the oxygen uh, diffuser in almost any position of, uh, of the wound. So this is uh, our clinician in uh, Thailand, Dr. B. Dr. Bori Patara is dealing with extremely difficult cases. So he's using the natrox. As you can see, these are difficult wounds to heal. These are most in most of the market will go through, through amputation. And uh, he is a true believer in, in, in topical oxygen. So we have cases now all over, all over Asia and very, very happy about the result. Most of his patients are from the Middle East and because he's so well known, they just come to his clinic for a period of four or five weeks trying to get uh, uh, healing. So I'm showing you that to, you know, to say that there is, there is hope, there is wounds which can be healed, supplement, supplement uh, oxygen into the wound. It's going to be a difference. Offloading, as uh, Dr. Dr. Kumar mentioned, good choice of dressing will make a difference. But those cells need energy. They need to have the capability to do what they are supposed to do from repertilization to collagen to fighting bacteria. That was in a hospital Kuala Lumpur. So that's what we do. Thank you so much. You, we close wound and we do nothing else. We really want to close wounds. Uh, this is uh, with a doctor in Singapore, Dr. Sri Ram. That patient was going for a below knee amputation. I begged at him to give me a chance for, for natrox therapy. And I think that was a good, uh, that was a good choice because uh, the patient fully healed rather than having another amputation. So I would like to thank all of you. Uh, I hope this was uh, informative about uh, topical oxygen and the clinic uh, uh, in Ocare. And thank you very much. So I think we will start the Q&A session. Uh, we have Dr. Kumar with us, Dr. Dr. Kumar. We have uh, Baljit. If there is any uh, question, um, we'll be very happy to, to answer. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. And uh, we've got a question from one of our clinicians. What type of wound is suitable for this oxygen therapy? As a matter of fact, any hard to heal wound is a suitable uh, wound for oxygen therapy. But then at the end of the day, you have to see what is the reason for the wound to be delayed in terms of healing. Is it uh, a metabolic uh, problem where the diabetes is not well controlled or whether it's a problem related to uh, vascularization or blood circulation or whether it's due to poor food hygiene. So there could be multiple uh, kinds of wounds which are being delayed in terms of healing. So if you ask me, oxygen therapy is of course very important because if it's 
if it is lacking, then the whole process of wound healing itself is lost. Of course, before the therapy is started, a proper preparation of the wound is required because sometimes it may be a pressure sore, sometimes it may be a superficial sore, uh, or sometimes it may be a venous ulcer. So depending on the type of ulcer, the preparation is very important before the oxygen therapy can be commenced. Thank you so much, Dr. Kumar. There was another question uh, about uh, the device. So uh, this is a multi-user device, uh, consumable, are consumable. So when the, when the therapy is finished, uh, we will uh, pass the, the, the device to, to other patients after uh, proper decontamination, but this is not in contact of the wound. So the answer of the question is, it's a multi-user device. The next question is, are there any contraindications in terms of pseudomonas or MRO infection and how to disinfect the device in between patients? As far as the infection is concerned, of course, it can be determined by many ways, one of which is by doing a culture and sensitivity test by taking a swab from the wound and sending the lab. That's number one. Number two, we have a device called Moleculite. We can also identify the type of infection which is actually a non-interventional kind of uh, treatment. It identifies pseudomonas in terms of the color changes as well as other kinds of organism. How to disinfect the device in between patients? This is a disposable, uh, the, the uh, oxygen uh, delivery system is a disposable thing. There is no uh, disinfecting and reusing it. Usually the patient requires on an average about two changes a week. As much as the therapy will, con will consist of oxygen seven days a week, he will only need to come to the clinic twice a week. Or if there's a, a wound care person or caregiver who's doing it in their home, they only need it to do twice a week. But it has to be changed. You can't reuse or recycle it. Thank you so much, Dr. Kumar. Uh, as well, for the device, a simple wipeout. Uh, will, will can be done and as mentioned it's not into uh, this is not in contact uh, with the wound I just would like to add on infection uh, what is important is that oxygen as I mentioned enhance the capability capability of your of your cells uh, for example reactive oxygen species hydrogen peroxide would do a, a very important role in killing bacteria do you need the oxygen uh, to to the wound, into the wound in order so that to to create this hydrogen uh, hydrogen peroxide. So I think it's very important to understand that oxygen goes into the whole spectrum of uh, of uh, wound healing. Uh, antibacterial dressing will strictly address an infection where with oxygen, as I mentioned, from angiogenesis to repetalization to fighting bacteria. That's where the role of oxygen is. A, it's key. So there was another question on the on the length of the tubing. So the tube is uh, the tubing is about one meter, and we as well have some uh, extension in the event uh, that we have a very tall patient. But very often, as you could have seen in the video, the the device is uh, strapped into the leg of the patient. Going into the going into the food. There was another very interesting question. This Natrox device can it be used for pressure ulcer apart from diabetic wound? Yes, definitely. I mean, pressure ulcers are usually you know around the sacral area, around the buttocks, and they are also quite deep seated kind of uh, ulcers. They're not superficial ulcers. Well, this device, after all the debridement and the uh, cleaning with the antiseptic this uh, oxygen delivery system can be pushed into because it's a soft, flex, uh, flexible kind of plastic device. So it can be pushed into the wound and then we can put on a secondary dressing. So it can be used for pressure ulcers. In fact, pressure ulcers being deep, when you put in, we find that the results are very good in terms of the granulation tissue growing very fast. How, how often do I need to go back to the doctor to change the oxygen patch? As I was just mentioning earlier, it's only maximum on twice a week. So it's not like you have to go for a dressing every day. 
even if the dressing is done at home or in the nursing home or in the home of the patient, it's also twice a week. Unless if the wound is very badly infected and the exudates are during the initial stage, the exudates are coming out in large amounts, maybe we have to do three dressings a week. But in, uh, in general, twice a week is more than sufficient to get the proper clinical outcome. Thank How you, much is the cost in Malaysia? I think I'll leave it to Lamin to answer the question. Um, so we, we have a distributor in, uh, uh, in Malaysia. It's a company called AI Distribution. Uh, I'm, I'm a manufacturer, but uh, what I know is that the therapy day, it's below, below 100 Mal Malaysian ringgit. So I think this is important. Below 100 Malaysian ringgit, ringgit we could save a limb where most of the therapy has failed, more, where those patients have been hearing day after day that they need an amputation. And by the way, an amputation, it's important to mention, 80% of, of amputees will, de will die within five years. 80% of amputee will die within five years. It kills more than any, any cancer. So uh, 100 ringgit per day as a therapy who can change their life and avoid amputation. It's very, very affordable and it's cheaper than most of the therapy in the market right now. Is there any other question, Mr. Uh, Dr. Kumar? Yeah, how long each patch can be used? I mean, as I said, it's on an average, you have to change it twice, uh, twice a week. So you could say on an average about three to four days. Yeah, okay, very, this, sorry, yeah. very well, well said, Dr. Kumar. So the management of exudate, it's key when there is a high level of exudate, just through uh, my clinician, uh, like Dr. Kumar and uh, all the center that, uh, that we are selling. So when you have a high level of, of uh, exudate, you may do a change of dressing every two days, but when the wounds start to stabilize, you may take five and do a change of dressing after, after five days. There's another question here. Can this Natrox device be used for pediatric patients with the, with the poor wound healing? For example, also post-cardiac surgical. Yes, it can be used for any, any, any uh, age group. I mean, there is no uh, criteria to say that it has to be only used for adults because at the end of the wound, a wound is a wound. The most important thing is because it's such a safe device and it is not going to cause any uh, trauma to, to the user of it, it can be used in children without any problem. Thank you, Dr. Kumar. Even you like uh, post-cardiac wounds and all, uh, what do you call like uh, after bypass and all those kind of infected wounds in diabetics. I've come across some patients for three, four months, they're still going around healing the wound. We have uh, used Netrox and found the results very good. Yes, and uh, so, in Dr. Kumar. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, just... Because yep. in those areas like the chest and all, the vascularity is very good. So the healing and clinical outcome is also excellent as compared to some of the terminal parts of the limbs. There's another question just to clarify. Sorry, Dr. Kumar, just on this, we, we, we're working in the UK now with, uh, with surgical wounds. So I think it's important to understand that there was a question maybe uh, of contraindication. There is no contraindication on oxygen. Uh, we don't release any chemical. There is no release of drug. We just take oxygen from the air and we put it into the wound because of an impervascularity. So it is, uh, it is important that any type of wound that Dr. Kumar has mentioned is beneficial to a wound. I mean, we are today into diabetic foot ulcer, where we believe that in the future, improving oxygen into the tissue for surgical wound, it's, all, it, it, it's beneficial and it doesn't have any, any potential risk. One of our doctors wanted to just clarify, just to clarify, is it Ringgit Malaysian 100 per day or each dressing? So it is important to understand that we don't sell dressing. We don't sell a device. We sell, we, we, we sell or our distributor, AI distributor, sell a therapy. The same way when you go to 
a hyperbic a hyperbaric chamber, you get a therapy. The same way that when you use negative, uh, negative pressure and PWT, it's a day therapy on average five days to six days. And so, so our daily rate for our therapy, topical oxygen therapy is less than a hundred. Ring it. Um, any more question? Dr. Kumar, any more question? Yeah, I think there's one last question here. Clinic, in a, does clinic in a care provide home visit? Does clinic in a, in a care provide home visit? Baljit, maybe you can answer, Ms. Baljit, yeah. maybe you can answer this question. Okay, at the moment we don't have, but we will be providing home services uh, maybe in a month or two. No, I, I think, yeah, but I think we need to, to, to clarify on the part. We have a partnership uh, uh, with uh, caregiver, uh, with their excellent capability and network within Malaysia, within, uh, Malaysia and um, 4,000 nurses into, uh, into the network. Uh, Natrox is available at any time. If any of the patient needs some uh, topical oxygen, maybe to, to help them with the wound healing. So the answer is yes, and it will, uh, and it's been taken care by uh, care, care, care Asia, caregiver, sorry. There is one more question here. Does the patch come in different sizes? The pressure also wound at the back is big due to bedridden patient. That's an excellent question. Yeah, really a good question. So uh, we release a gas. So that gas will spread within the, within the wound, the same way that if we have a gas tube in, in, in front of the door of my office, it, it's a matter of time that my whole office will be filled up by gas. So it's important to understand that that gas through pressure gradient, oxygen, will be released uh, to, to, to the wound. On average, we have wounds for 20 cm by 20 cm, has really not issue, no, no issue. I think we have answered uh, most of the questions. So is there any other questions or does anyone want to have any kind of clarification on the answers given earlier? You are most welcome to respond. Great. So thank you very much, all of you. Really, um, really appreciate. I think there will be a, a, a photo taking and a photo session. So if you all, uh, all uh, uh, turn on uh, your video, then we will, uh, we will all be uh, into this memorable day. <laughs>